Hey, so what's going on guys, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Call of Duty Ghosts, more specifically the new player movement features. If you remember way back when the Call of Duty reveal trailer was released, they had the behind the scenes trailer as well, which showed the new movement features of mantling and being able to peer around corners. Now seeing as it's E3 and all of the developers are going to be there, this is the perfect time to ask questions, and one of the questions brought up by an interviewer was how will the new mantle and lean feature work in the game? If you remember in the previous Call of Duty games, then the climbing over stuff was a really slow and sluggish movement, it would take ages and often it would get you killed if you try and climb over something. Now, they want to keep the flow of the game going and keep your movement going, so that's why if you sprint at an object, you will just vault over it and mantle it and keep on with your speed. Now how this works in Call of Duty Ghost will simply be a tap of the jump button which is A or X on PlayStation I believe and your player will keep his momentum and mantle over the object, wall or whatever it may be and also while you do this you can actually fire as well so obviously you won't be able to aim down sight it's going to be a hip fire sort of spray and pray thing I don't know how accurate it will be we'll have to wait and see but you can still fire while in the mantle position. Now leaning was probably the feature which was a bit unclear how it will work, will there be a button, will it just be automatic and in fact there will be no lean button. It will automatically be done when you aim by the edge of the object that you're hiding behind so if it's a wall, if you are aiming at the edge of the wall your player will then lean out automatically. This makes it a lot easier to do instead of having an extra button you have to push down to do so. Now obviously this opens the discussion for the head glitching and lean glitching, we don't know how it will look from a other person's point of view, will it be sort of similar to head glitching where you can only see the tiniest bit of someone's head but they've got a full view of you, or will they actually make it so a fair bit of your body is poking out meaning that you're not completely invulnerable. We are just going to have to wait and see but both these features are going to be available in both single player and multiplayer and obviously the new spec ops mode which hasn't been mentioned at all yet so it's going to be interesting to see the new mantling system and the lean system especially just to see how much difference they make in the gameplay. Anyway guys that's all I've got for you now with the movement system if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a thumbs up down below and if you want to stay up to date with the latest Call of Duty Ghosts information and news then you can subscribe. However guys that's it for now but I will see you all next time.